Mr. Miyagi style. Long time, guys. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I'm getting ready for my trip. I'm leaving Sunday and flying out Monday to Dominican Republic. So, hoping I'll get some diving in. Finally. Last trip, dive trip, was a disaster in Cuba. We didn't get a dive, so I didn't get, we get to use my uh, Ace Pro underwater. So, hopefully we'll get to use it this time. Um, I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, I owe you guys a couple videos. I haven't been on. I've just been crazy. I've been trying to get ready for this trip. Blah, 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 blah. Ranting again. Uh, something different, something new. Um, and it's something that I've been using for a couple years now. And I thought it'd be important because I have been using it and still using it in my trips, especially when it's diving. It's specifically for diving, uh, photography underwater. Um, it's two years old. Now, this is the uh, older model, KRH-06 uh, by Kraken, a company called Kraken Housing, Kraken Sports. Um, they actually have a, uh, a distribution office in, in this city, so that's where I got mine from. There is a new version out for this particular uh, housing. Um, they made a couple changes, and I'll go through those changes with you, and and if you, you can think if it's worth it or not. I, I honestly I love this uh, this housing because there's a couple out there. There's one by Sea Life, which I'll kind of mention as well what the difference is between the two. Um, there's a couple by um, other companies too, big companies, but they're like extremely expensive. Um, this is not a cheap housing, but it allows you to take your phone underwater. So if you have a phone that has an amazing camera, look at some of the new Samsung iPhone uh, cameras. They're phenomenal. Even the Pixel ones are really good. Um, I, I, I'm not a big fan of taking a very expensive phone underwater. Um, just because if something happens, and it, it, I've been using this for two years, and I've never had a leak, never had an issue with it. So it's worked out for me. Uh, I actually have a old um, a camera, which I'll show you here. It's a uh, it's a real me camera I bought from from China, and it was cheap. And I bought the wrong version. I bought the 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 Chinese version, which it's very limited to what I can do with this phone. Uh, unfortunately, um, I, I can't even uh, flash the firmware on this to a global version. It's just the the ROM is not designed to do that. Anyways, long story short. Um, the one thing I like, and I, and I have like literally, I have six phones, um, like I don't use, and I just bought a new one. I just bought the Redmi Note 13 Pro, and it's and this thing is just unbelievable. And I just bought the um, the Pixel 7 last year. You know what? The Pixel 7 is a great camera. Um, the reason why I didn't like the Pixel was because uh, I really like the size of it because it's a small size for me. For the the 13 is bigger. Um, the battery on the Pixel is horrible. Like it's just it just does not last me. Like I pretty much have to charge it halfway through the day, and which is not great for me because if I'm traveling a lot, I need a phone that's that has a long battery life. Um, plus, there's no expandable memory, which this one doesn't either. And I only bought the 128 gig uh, Pixel phone version, which costed me Canadian wise it was like 600 bucks. Like that's not cheap for a phone. I know. You can buy the Samsung S22, S23, the Ultra. They're like sixteen hundred bucks, two thousand dollars, or the iPhone. I'm not spending. You know, I have so many phones. I've spent so much money on phones. I'm just not going to spend that kind of money on phones. My Redmi Note 13 Pro was three hundred and fifty dollars, and this thing is better than the Pixel, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, it has two hundred fifty-six gig on it. Uh, it's got, I think, ten gig of RAM on this thing. It's fast, beautiful screen, bright screen, um, like. Compared to the Pixel, now the camera is it's pretty equal. I think the Pixel, because of the AI and the software combined, the Pixel does do a better job with real-time edits to the photo. Whereas the Redmi Note is not as good, but it still takes great photos. Anyways, long story short, um, I went with the uh, the uh, Realme because for some weird reason, this, this phone is like four years old, five years old. For some weird reason, no, this phone as a phone is kind of useless because it's Chinese version, right? But the camera on this is insane. Like, uh, I'll put a link down in my description to the photos and videos I've taken with this in this housing. Um, but like, it's just crazy. I don't know what they did with this lens, but it takes like phenomenal photos, uh, really good videos as well. And it's the only phone that will actually autofocus has macro. Um, even the Pixel doesn't have macro. My Redmi Note doesn't have macro. It, you can shoot close, but not as close as this one, which is the only phone that I have, and I have like six phones that will actually uh, do that close focusing. So it's good for me that when I'm underwater, 
uh, with the housing, I can actually get close up to my subject and do uh, sort of macro photography. Now, it's not as good as the Olympus, uh, the tough cameras. Like the Olympus TG6, TG7 are one of the best cameras for underwater uh, for macro shooting, macro photography. But where the Olympus does not shine is regular shots, like, um, you know, regular photos. It, it's not that great. It's really good for macro photography for underwater. And that's why you see a lot of people using divers using this, the, the uh, TG6 or TG7. Uh, for for macro photography. Now I thought about getting it. I actually had the I actually had the TG6 in my hands, and it's not cheap. It's a seven six seven hundred dollar camera here in Canadian. Plus you have to buy the housing because the, the camera is only uh, I think down to thirty three feet uh, um, waterproof, uh, which is not good if you're doing uh, any sort of diving because we're sixty to hundred feet, right? Um, so you have to buy the housing. Now the housing is another three four hundred dollars. So you're into almost a thousand dollars on this just to do macro photography. Um, I thought this was a really good kind of a band-aid solution. Now it's not going to be as good as the Olympus in macro photography, but in general, the photography itself, like taking photos, stills, that kind of thing, it's still better than an action camera. And you know me, I'm a big action camera guy. I have the Ace Pro, I have the DJI GoPros, uh, um, and you know the Ace Pro. I'm hoping that the Ace Pro will kind of take over for this because of the megapixels uh, of the Ace Pro and stills. It's 48 megapixel and HDR and 12 megapixel. So I'm going to be doing some testing next week when I'm uh, diving in Dominican Republic. So it's the first time I'm actually going to hopefully cross my fingers the weather's going to be good so I'll get the dive. I'm going to do a comparison between this phone in the housing and my Ace uh, uh, Pro in terms of stills. Because if I can get the same results in stills, um, I might just go with, with, you know, the Ace Pro, that's it. Um, instead of, cause, cause the housing is pretty big, like you'll see in a second. I'll go through with you. So the cracking case is basically cracking housing and it's a nice case to get with it. This particular model is about two years old. There is a new one out. It's the KRH, uh, 08. And there's two versions of each housing. One has, uh, one is just the basic version and the other pro version. The Pro version has, uh, the, sorry, the KRH8 uh, version 2, which is the newest housing out. Um, they're retailed around 375 US, around that price range, uh, which is pretty good. Um, the This one that I have, I think I bought for 350 Canadian, uh, so it was a really good price. Um, I like it because um, it allows me to take my phone down on the water and I can do all the photography and I can pull it up and I can actually have it on my phone and then view it on a bigger screen do any I have a uh, uh, water post uh, color grading software for for underwater footage on the phone so I can do it right on a boat if I want to and if I have reception I can actually send this and share it right away so there's advantages of having it on a bigger on a bigger screen on a phone so you can actually do all that stuff right away when you get on the boat um, and this housing is really cool so the difference between this one and you'll you'll know that you'll see Sea Life has one. Um, it's called the Sport Diver. Um, it's a nice housing. I like Sea Life stuff. Sea Life makes one of the best underwater cameras out there. Um, but they're only underwater cameras. They're, they're, you really can't use them anywhere else. Like you wouldn't use it outside of the underwater. They're designed for underwater. Uh, but they're not cheap. You know, a, a good Sea Life camera um, will will set you back. You know, at least six hundred. Up to thousand, two thousand dollars, you know, plus all the attachments, the lights, and stuff like that, right? And I've dove with guys that use Sea Life specifically, but I've actually dove with a guy that who was using Sea Life, and has actually moved from Sea Life to to the Olympus setup because they want to do more for macro photography. Um, anyways, I'm kind of moving away from this. Um, a couple things coming up. Uh, I've, I'm going to do two videos, two uh, reviews. One is something else. Um, because uh, I'm going I'm to be away next week, so I want to kind of uh, have something in my channel for you guys to look at. Um, there's another review of a, a security camera, and I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a separate review. Um, you guys have noticed that uh, if you guys are Insta360 fans or on their email list, you notice there's a big launch coming up on the 16th of April. Dude, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I, I, I know what it is already. So, um, But guys, this is going to be... This is going to be a killer, this launch. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll get a chance to review this product. Uh, I'm probably going to buy it. Um, and and it's, 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 it's a game changer, guys. So just so you know, 
Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a full blown segment. It's going to be a long segment on this particular um, tech. Okay, I'm going to call it tech. Uh, and probably, hopefully, with this camera as part of that review. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, no spoiler alerts. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, Ace Pro-wise, not a lot going on. Um, the firmware has been uh, delayed. Um, and the, uh, there's a big firmware that was supposed to come out in March. And it didn't come out. And we're in mid-April already. I'm hoping that we'll see it at the end of this month, uh, maybe in a couple weeks. We'll see the, the big firmware coming out for Ace Pro. It is going to be a major firmware. Um, <clears throat> so I think I think the reason why it hasn't come out in delay is because of this big launch that's coming out. Um, so that could be the reason. That could not be the reason, but I, I'm, I'm guessing that's the reason. But it is coming out, guys, so, so just be patient. Look at all the videos that's out right now. There's been more and more and more and more videos of Ace Pro uh, and, and you know, what it can do. And there's more professionals with their hands on this camera doing a lot of things with it. A lot more action stuff with this camera. A lot more durability videos with this camera. Um, so we've kind of proven that this camera is, 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 is an action camera, no matter what. I'm sure there will be these fanboys that say, oh, it's not an action camera. You know what? We're past that, guys. Let's let's be original. Um, you know, you can say the same crap all the time. It, it, the proof is in the pudding, guys. Just look at all the videos and look at all the reviews and look at all the real real users out there who bought the camera and not, as you like to call it, bias uh, uh, users. Um, anyways, I'm going to jump to this. I, I owe you guys some ranting, but... Uh, uh, because I haven't been on for a while. It's just been crazy guys. I've got a trip coming up this week I've got another big dive trip coming up in July and I'm looking at probably Thailand in in uh, the late summer, so uh, lots of diving lots of good footage there uh, You guys know I have my, my uh, stalker drone, so I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff with the drone with ace pro um, 360 stuff uh, that kind of stuff. So just stay tuned. Just bear with me guys I'm trying to get as much content out there as, as fast as possible Anyways, I'll jump to this. See you in a bit. Hey guys, we're back to the uh, desktop here. So you don't have to look at my face anymore. Um, here's the uh, Kraken case. So basically you get a nice case with this. Okay, inside you're gonna get this Kraken case right here. Okay, um, this is really cool. So there you get a pump and you get the cable for the pump. I'll show you what that does. Instructions and you get uh, some extra O-rings. Uh, for the all around the case and for the cap as well um, you do have to get your own batteries unfortunately it's not a big deal it uses two uh, AAA's and they suggest using the Energizer lithium batteries because you're dealing with temperatures uh, underwater and uh, air temperature when you're diving so the uh, lithium batteries are Energizer are the best they're not cheap but they last forever in this so it only takes two if you buy a four pack uh, only takes two Energizer triple A's and like I said, I've been using these the, these two for two years You on it doesn't really use that much. It's only used for the Bluetooth part uh, Now there's a new version of this out. Okay, there's a big difference in this one and well not a huge difference but um, the biggest difference with this version and the other version is when you're using a housing and your phone is inside your phone is always on Okay, so for example when I go diving in Jamaica, we are on a boat. We do two dives we leave at 8 in the morning, okay, on the boat. We get ready, and before I jump in the water, I turn my camera. I, I sync this because it's Bluetooth. It syncs to your phone, and the phone stays on. Now, there's a trick to doing this. If you're doing that with a phone, turn down the, the brightness, okay, uh, two reasons. You don't burn battery, and it keeps the uh, phone uh, uh, cool because the, 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 when your brightness is on all the time, it starts to heat up your phone, and I'll show you why that's important later on. Um, <clears throat> so basically, uh, it runs on the battery of your phone and on this one, the, and that's the other thing with this phone right here is the battery on this is really good. This, this, uh, Realme phone, um, let me just go in here. So I have all my camera apps set up. I have my, my, uh, my, oops, my display turned pretty low. You can turn it low down because underwater it's going to be pretty bright because underwater is, is pretty dark, right? So that's going to stand out. It doesn't look bright here. So once I'm on a boat, I'm ready to go in. This goes in the housing. So basically, it goes in the housing. I've got a little thing here. I just made a. I just printed out a little bracket so it fits fits this phone a little bit nicer. So there's a couple apps you can use for this. Okay, the one that they suggest is the Kraken app. I it's okay. I'm not a big fan of the Kraken uh, app. 
Um, I just prefer uh, um, the open camera, the uh, open source open camera app. Uh, it works with this with this housing. And I'll start it up here, and you get make sure you have your automatic rotation on so it rotates this way when you're when you're in the housing here. So it fits right in here, and you'll see. I'm just gonna turn it around. You'll see the back. You'll see the uh, lens. It sticks out there, right? Now, the the other version of this, there's there's a there's a pro version of this case. Everything is exactly the same. It has two things. It has uh, uh it has a gauge built right in, so it has depth gauge, and it also has temperature gauge. So you can actually essentially use this as kind of like a dive watch gauge. Uh, I don't need it. I have two dive watches, so it's not a big deal. So I just bought the che and it's cheaper too if you buy just the basic version. Make sure that when you are diving with this, that the O-rings are good. The O-rings go around here. Uh, make sure that I, after each use, take it out, clean it, and I just I just have a little dab of silicone. I rub it around to store it, and it keeps that silicone, uh, that O-ring, nice and, and and fresh. Make sure that these brass points do not get salt water on them. You're best off not to take open this up right away when you get out of the water, especially salt water, because water can get on these points, and once they get on these points and they start to corrode, they're done. Because this these points are basically uh, controls the the uh, camera controls via Bluetooth. Okay, so I've managed for the last two years, I've managed to keep these nice and clean. They're spotless. I don't touch it. I, if you do want to open it up right away, make sure you wipe everything down. Or on boats, while we have boats, we have fresh water tubs that we dump all of our cameras in. Uh, camera gear in. So basically what that does is it flushes out all the hot, the, the, the salt water and gets it out of nooks and crannies and stuff like that. Keep it in there for five minutes and then take it out and then open it carefully. Just make sure that when you open it, you don't open it this way, open it this way. So the water's drip down, it'll drip on these contact, these brass points. These are critical right here. Uh, anyways, my camera is in. So basically the first time you use it, uh, what you have to do is, oh, let me just uh, when you hit the uh, the shutter button, it actually turns the camera on. Okay, you'll see the light. Uh, take this out. You see the light flashing green here. The battery compartment goes in here. Two batteries. Okay. Um, the new version is kind of neat. The new version on the handle here, it's bulky. It's actually a little bit thinner. It's bulky, and the new version has a, uh, a lithium polymer rechargeable battery goes into that handle. Okay, and it has a little cable inside that plugs into the phone. The neat thing about that is that not only does it power the uh, the Bluetooth uh, on the enclosure, it can also keep power or charge your phone while you're using. So if you're out for a long period of time, that lithium battery will keep your phone charged. I don't have a problem. I do two dives. Usually I'm done by 12. We start diving around 8.30. I'm done by about 12.30, 1 o'clock. So that's two dives in. And this is on. All throughout that time and I've taken photos and stuff like that and my phone still has about I would say about 40% battery left so it's really good on battery this phone and I find that if you shut down Wi-Fi if you shut down location services you you you, you tweak it down right um, uh, just just uh, the brightness setting low um, that kind of thing it really saves consu uh, uh, doesn't consume a lot of power and it keeps your phone off anyways those are the tips uh, for, for that anyways uh, so once I've got that on, okay, I can actually go into camera controls. Is it camera controls? And you'll see Bluetooth LED remote, and you'll see remote device type, and it actually has Kraken on there. Okay, so it's already uh, good. So I'm gonna go back, back. Sometimes it connects automatically, sometimes it doesn't. You'll notice when you close this. And see if it changes. Yep. See. It's already connected to automatically connected to my case. So when I hit mode, you'll see a change of camera mode, video mode. And open camera is really good because they're also co they're constantly changing open camera. And the camera API on the open camera is actually better than the, 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 the ones on the phone. Uh, it gives you a little bit more uh, customization options up here. You'll see, let me just open this up. Uh, gives you a little bit more customization up here. See all these settings up here. So I can actually essentially, I can switch it to video and like quickly when it's in this case, I can switch it to video quickly by hitting the mode button to go to video, or I can switch it to camera and take a photo. If I take a photo, you'll see it there. It'll just click and it'll animate and it takes a photo. And I switch mode and I can do 4K video on this. And I have to admit, I'll go to the link below on my description and there's a link of all the photos and video samples I've taken with this, this particular phone. 
The quality is really good. Now, granted that you still have to do post-color production, but I can do it right on the phone. I have the app on a phone that I can do it right on a boat, right? And it gets exported out. Um, so that's, you have to do that with pretty much any camera anyways. Now the Ace Pro is a little bit better with that. The Ace Pro actually does that color processing in the camera while it's recording, which is why the AI is phenomenal on the Ace Pro. So I'm hoping to, I'm gonna be testing the two and see which one is gonna be, it's gonna come out because if that Ace Pro takes just as good as uh, photos as this, then yeah, I'm gonna be going with the Ace Pro. The only problem with the Ace Pros is because I can't do macro where I can do macro with this one. And this is bigger, bulkier, heavier, right? Um, this brings me back to the next point. Now, the differences between the cases, the enclosures out there, there's a few. Um, Kraken makes their enclosures, there's, there's Diveroid, um, no, Divoid, I think, Divoid, uh, which is actually interesting. It's it's an enclosure, but it's touchscreen. There's no buttons. So they've got this membrane on the front um, that you can actually use your, your phone underwater and you can actually access, take photos by touching the screen. Now, there's been a couple of problems with that. There's been a couple of complaints saying that the membrane rips easy or it's just a basically a membrane, like a plastic seal. Uh, there's been cases where it's leaked. Uh, the, the membrane gets it's very easy to damage. So if you tear that membrane, it's done, right? The case is gone because the whole thing is, is a membrane. I'm not a big fan of that. This is glass. Uh, and I'd I, I rather just use the buttons. Safer that way. Um, now, you'll notice that there's a red light here, okay? The red light is because, this is really cool, when you seal your, 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 uh, your enclosure, there's a red light. That means that there's air inside, okay? So that's what this thing is for. It comes with a pump. And it comes with a hose for the pump. So what you essentially do is you connect the hose to the pump here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully I'm not too close to this uh, uh, focusing. And you'll see a little cap here. Remove the cap. This is a waterproof cap. Okay. You take this, put it in. Okay. And you're vacuuming the air, making this air tight. It serves two purposes. Okay. It gets rid of the air on the inside of the enclosure, which what the, what happens when you have air and temperature change it causes condensation. Right. So. We'll get back to that in a second, okay, with the other cases, why that's important. So what I do is I pump. You'll see it keep moving, and you'll see it turn green. So when it turns green, it means two things. The air is vacuumed out of this enclosure. There's no air inside, so it's, it's airtight, okay? It also tells me that because it's airtight, there are no leaks, and the seal is good, okay? If that doesn't turn green, you have, two, you have a problem. You have a bad seal, a bad O-ring. Okay, so this green tells me that the O-ring is good. We have full waterproof uh, uh, for this enclosure. Now, this guy goes down to 80 meters. Okay, it can go down 80 meters. Not that I will ever dive that, that deep. Uh, I'm rated to 100, 110, 120, and that's it. Um, if you're diving that kind of uh, uh, range, uh, depth, you're, you're, you're a tech diver. You have to do tri-mixing, right? Okay, so now I'm green. Now, this is how it sits on my boat for the rest of my dive, both dives, okay? Screen is on. This is ready to go. I can't access this until I hit this, right? So I have a, uh, I have a bracket a hand with a handle on it, so I jump in the water with the bracket. I think you guys have seen it in my other videos. Uh, I'll post a picture of it, my, my, my setup um, with, with the bracket. Uh, so you're ready to go, and when I'm like, this thing focuses so, like, I don't know if you can see it, but look at how well it focuses. Like I'm really close to the camera, and it's focusing on my and my and my and my. Uh, uh, so I have to be about this range. So I would say that's probably about three centimeters, right? That's pretty good. I don't have any other phones that focus this close and this fast. And this thing, the the focusing on this thing is oh, this is a uh, that's why. Let's try it with this. So that was, in, that was in video mode, that's why. So in camera mode, I can actually go closer and it'll actually focus than in video mode. See that it focuses. So I can shoot things that close to me, right? Uh, any subject, crabs, lobsters, eels, that kind of stuff, or any urchins and that kind of stuff. So this is an amazing, and it's fast. When I take a photo, it's instantaneous. It just takes a photo, focuses, and goes to the side, and I'm ready to go to the next one, okay? So, you know, like video, I switch it to this. Okay, I'm, I'm set up to 4K video, and it'll tell me how much, uh, it gives me ISO settings, time, also how much room I have left, and when I'm shooting video, and now I'm in video mode, and it's actually, look at my, it's actually showing the ISO and frames and stuff like that, uh, and shutter speed, <laughs> it's actually really cool. So it's actually shooting in 4K right now. 
that I'm showing you, right? And I can just stop it by hitting the, uh, the the shutter button and then switch modes. Now I can use these buttons to navigate. I can go into zoom, that kind of stuff like uh, that. Uh, honestly, everything's preset for me. I don't even really use a zoom. It's digital zoom, so there's no point using it, um, which is why I want to do the Ace Pro because the Ace Pro has that clarity zoom, which I think will be... It's too bad I can't access that clarity zoom underwater. It would be nice. Um, that would be a great update to be able to access your clarity zoom because I, clarity zoom has to be accessed through the screen on the Ace Pro. If they could do it via hardware, uh, that would be awesome. Like even like a quick quick um, uh, shortcut button to, to do clarity zoom mode. That would be awesome because I would love to do clarity zoom when I'm diving, I can't in, in a, in a uh, water, water housing, underwater housing. So anyways, that's something hopefully Insta360 will, will do. But um, yeah, great case. Now, why do we need airtight and why do we, because this is aluminum, this is completely aluminum, okay? And it's heavier than you'll see the ones now, the Sport Life by Sea Life. It's a mixture of polycarbonate and aluminum and glass. This is aluminum and glass uh, 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 only. Okay, the body is aluminum. That's the important part. Now, when you buy the Sea Life, and this is from other viewers and other users, and one of the guys I talked to that has one, and he's told me this. He uses the uh, Sport Diver, which is Sea Life's version of the phone enclosure. Um, it's about the same price as the uh, Kraken, um, but the uh, the Sea Life Sport Diver is polycarbonate. The whole body is polycarbonate. Okay, polycarbonate is a plastic. Okay, and it's lighter than aluminum. It's part, it's got some aluminum parts, uh, and it's got some glass. I think the back is glass, and the front is glass. The rest is polycarbonate and some aluminum parts, like the handle and stuff like that. But the body itself, enclosure, is, is polycarbonate. Polycarbonate, any plastic, it, you'll know that with any any enclosure, any housing, even for action cameras, that kind of thing, is uh, polycarbonate does not. Uh, insulate heat very well temperature very well because when you have a camera especially uh, uh, any action camera when it's been sitting in a plastic or polycarbonate housing the camera heats up okay when the camera will heat up during <clears throat> recording what happens is the outside temperature and the inside temperature does not um, match so therefore that's why you're getting fogging condensation that kind of thing that's why a lot of cameras gopros especially give you those those pads those insert pads that you put into your housing i do it with my ace pro and my and my action 4 i put a pad in there and funny thing is when i come out of that water my pads it's it's wet right so there is condensation inside the uh, the actual housing this does not have that problem because it's it's aluminum <clears throat> aluminum dissipates heat underwater that's why you don't get that fogging or condensation in aluminum housing Okay, you'll see other uh, uh, aluminum housings out there. There's there's companies that make uh, high end SLR housings that are aluminum and they don't have a moisture problem. Okay, because it's aluminum, right? But you're talking housings that are like you know in the thousands, like fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, right? Uh, they're expensive, and this is this is why the reason I, why I bought this. And I did some research on it, and I found out that the aluminum and in the two years that I've used this underwater and i've been under i've been 110 feet with this one 60 feet average 60 feet but i've i've gone down to 110 feet with this never once did this fog up or never once did i have moisture inside i put a pad in there anyways just in case right because you know there is a battery inside right my the inside is not waterproof and when i take this out and i and i check the pad the pad is dry so there i know there's no water or any moisture going inside the case okay now that said, the Sea Life Sport Diver, um, the way they alleviate that or fix that problem is they have these things called moisture munchers. It's like a little tube. It's basically these pads, but it's in a form of a proprietary tube, right? That you insert into the case on the inside that sucks up water and moisture. It's called, you can look it up, it's called moisture munchers, right? Those things are not cheap. Right? And you always have to have those when you use your dive because it actually checks for the moisture muncher uh, for to make sure that you're, you can dive with the case. Now, my question is that what if you ran out or what if you forgot, you know, are you not able to use your dive case when you're on a boat 
uh, they're, not, they're not gonna go back for you to get a moisture muncher. And if you dive a lot, you would have to have, a, I think it's rated for one, one moisture muncher for two dives. If you dive a lot, you would have a ton, you would have to have a ton of those. And it's funny because when you look on in the internet, there's like DIYs of people taking their moisture mongers and putting them in the oven uh, <laughs> under low heat to dry them out so they can reuse them. Um, so things like that. So I just really didn't want to deal with that because that's an extra cost, extra uh, uh, step. Uh, if you forget, you're kind of screwed. You can't use your dive. I don't have to worry about the, with this one. So that was one of the advantages of having an Illumic. Yeah, you kind of sacrifice the weight, but... I don't, I don't care. I'm on the water. This is, this is only heavy for when I get in the water, when I get out of the water, it's not a big deal. Um, and it's not that much lighter, uh, compared to the sport diver because I've had the sport diver in my hand. Right. So I would rather have this and not have to deal with, with extra added moisture munchers or pads and stuff like that. I still put, I have tons of pads from all my cameras, right? So I just put one in here just in case, but it's never wet when I take it out. Um, that said, it's a great case. Uh, and, to when you get out of the water so don't forget that this thing is is to shut it off you just hit the uh, uh okay button keep it down and you'll see the light go off the green light go off that means it's off you can't open this piece right here this is the open the actual uh, uh lid open because it's it's actually vacuumed so you have to let all the air out the so not the you have to put air in it to to so basically when it vacuums it's it, it sucks the screen down so it keeps it tight um, so what i have to do is i have to um open this up and you'll see a little, like a little nipple, okay? When you press that nipple and move it sideways, you'll hear a, like a, like a pss sound, right? So basically, <laughs> basically it lets air in, okay? And you, you can actually feel the lid kind of move a little bit uh, because when it's vacuumed, the lid is end tight, okay? So once you let the, once you let air in, it, it actually loosens up that lid and now you have to press the button and you turn it and now you can take the actual lid out. Okay, so what I would do is I would just take this out and make sure that when I'm done diving, make sure that the contacts are clean, have a have a dry cloth, clean cloth, just clean that out, uh, close it up, and then I just store it away, and then and then that's it, right? And then I would just look at the the, the videos on my phone and and that kind of thing. So it would all be on here. Just go to my gallery, um, and you'll see the photos that I've taken on here. Uh, you'll see all these photos. See. Oh, that's the video. <laughs> ah. Video here's the uh, the photos that I've taken, and I'm really, I'm actually really surprised. This this phone takes amazing, amazing, amazing photos, and you get a nice big screen. Not that little tiny little action camera screens, or little camera screens. You can actually see what you're doing. Um, and open camera uh, allows me to shoot in raw as well because I can shoot in raw with this. So I can do with raw, I can do better color processing later on. So when I take a video or when I take a photo with this, it gives me two photos. One is a JPEG compressed video and, or uh, photo. And the other one is a raw DNG photo. So uh, I can take that again. I can do color processing, post color processing with it. So that said, guys, this is the, the case for it. Um, the new one is actually really nice. It's a new design. It's a little bit slimmer here. Has a big handle on it, and the big handle because the reason why the big handle uh, is is that big is because it has an actual rechargeable battery inside that that runs the case and also uh, um, charges your phone while using it. And that's around the same price. I think it's around three ninety nine uh, USD for for that case. So definitely, if you're into photography and if you want to bring that phone down to that you know if you have a, a phone kicking around that has that takes great videos or photos like i do this is a great option for doing stills we're, we're not really there for stills in terms of action cameras and i'm hoping that the ace pro will change that um uh but i'll be able to do some testing uh this this uh, next week with the ace pro in this case i've got my dive uh, i've got my uh, dji a4 as well that's gonna sit on my bcd uh, permanently and it'll just continuously shoot videos hopefully it doesn't overheat um, <laughs> but yeah anyways uh, that's it any questions uh, I've got some information down in my description guys uh, please give me a like if you want subscribe if you like uh, if you found this useful this is discontinued right now there is a, the new version is active it's the KRH02 or KRH08 V2 um, it's it's red and black um, so yeah definitely if you guys are interested 
pick up one of these are great for for getting your if you want to get your smartphone if you have a great camera on that thing you want to get it down in water uh for me this is really safe again i've been using this for two years never once did it leak never once did i have moisture inside just make sure your o-rings are nice and clean and 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 it gives you actually an extra o-ring if you need it get some silicone and just run some silicone gel on it to the store so it doesn't dry out because o-rings do dry on that's when it crack and then they're done right uh this one's nice because it does have the uh the um quarter inch screws at the bottom so you can actually use that on a tripod, on a bracket, camera bracket, that kind of thing. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, I know this has probably gone a little bit longer than I and I hope it always does. Never fails. Or drop me a, a question down in the description. Uh, if I don't talk to you guys, have a great week. I'm gone. I'll, I'll try and post some photos as much as I can in in um, uh, on YouTube. Um, but hey, I'm vacationing. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll do more diving and posting photos. Anyways, guys, have a good one. Peace, respect, ciao.